Hello and welcome back to Richard Bozulich's Get Strong at Tesuji. Today we're going to be going over some intermediate problems, starting with problem number 29. Black is trying to capture this isolated stone, uh, so how does Black want to do that? Black should retire from this way, because Black can easily capture this if White tries to escape. Um, and an even better reason is if black Atari is from this way, white can get this free forcing move uh, because black needs to come back and capture. If black does not come back and capture, white can save this stone by pulling it out and now these stones are going to be captured. Moving on to problem number 31, black wants to capture these three stones here. And again, the question is how does black go about doing this? Black's move is to descend here, and the reason for it is black now has three liberties, white has three liberties, white would be taking a liberty if he uh, tries to go here, so white's best move is here, but it's kind of wasted because black can just go here, and now white needs to connect before he can attire from this side, and trying to attire from this side would be self Atari. Moving on to problem number 36, black again wants to capture this single stone. This is actually very similar to the other one we just did. Black should Atari from this way for the same reason. Because if black Atari's from this way, white gets the, this free forcing move, forcing black to eventually come back and capture or lose those two stones. Moving on to problem number 39, black wants to capture these three stones. How does black go about doing that? Black's move is here. And if white ataris this, black will give it up and start a squeeze. White captures, black ataris, and now these stones are dead. And actually, black doesn't need that last move. Uh, either one, actually. If black does not go here and instead just descends, now white has enough liberties to win this capturing race over here, and now black can no longer kill these, and these could potentially die as well. Moving on to problem number 42, black wants to capture these three stones. How does black go about doing that? Black's move is the cut here, and when white Atari is this way, black will extend the stone even though he can't save them. And this is the eye stealing Tsuji, um, I think it's called. I've heard it called the tombstone, in the, in the book they call it the... Uh, Two stone tower or something like that. So White's next move is to Atari this. Black will force capture by Atari these three and then throw in here. And then when Black connects here, he is now going to win this capturing race. Uh, say White starts it here, Black can Atari this. If White connects, then Black can capture. If White does not, then Black can do that. One last problem here. This is problem number 44. Black wants to rescue these four stones of his. So again, the question is, how does Black do that? Black's move is to Atari these two stones, uh, in which case White will connect and Atari this. And then when Black descends here, this is the really cool thing, because White cannot Atari from either side because his groups are going to be self atari And if White tries to start the capturing race, then Black is a move ahead. Um, either one of these works, and he is just fine. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be going over some more intermediate problems. Uh, if you guys like the video, please do like it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them below. Thanks again so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.